A lifeline for many people on the Treasure Coast is getting an extra boost. The Port St. Lucie Volunteer Ambulance Service survives on donations, but COVID has caused them to plummet. The community is responding, but as WPTV News Channel 5's Ryan Hughes explains, more help is needed. Inside the St. Lucie County Fire District Headquarters. Appreciate it. We really do. Thank you so much. The fire department and the fire board extending a helping hand to a service that's been struggling to keep its foot on the gas. This is what this community is about. For the past year, the Port St. Lucie Volunteer Ambulance Service has been in danger of closing. It's been up and running for 42 years, fueled by volunteers, helping take patients to the hospital and doctor's appointments free of charge. For the service we provide for the, for the community, it's amazing. It runs solely on donations, but the service is running out of money. If we have to close, they lose their transportation. But on Friday, the fire district donated an ambulance to the volunteer service, providing the chance for it to be more available for patients and help more people. It's the fact that we don't have to finish one transport and rush to another. We won't be able to have to worry so much about putting another patient on hold while we wait for another transport to end. The non-emergency transport service was on the verge of closing its doors for good a few weeks ago until a generous donation helped keep it alive. In the next six months, we are still very much in need of assistance. But the clock is still ticking. The reality, the ambulance service needs more donations to keep serving this community. It breaks my heart. Um, it makes it real because I'm going to have to say goodbye to, my, to, to the crew and to the patients. And that's just something I'm not ready to do. In St. Lucie County, Ryan Hughes, WPTV News Channel 5.